We have the Road to Immortality Pact. We call it, rather than the Immortality Pact, we call it the Road to Immortality because it's not going to make you immortal, but you're going to go, we think you're going to go a lot further down it. You're going to live a lot longer at a much younger age. And that sounds pretty interesting. If you could double your existing lifespan uh, just by taking, if you had 20 years, it could be 40. If you had 10, it could be 20, but your health would be better. How many of you want to do it? If you could, if you could live to be 120 in the condition that you're at right now, would you want to do that? Well, I think uh, 120 is going to be the new 60 with what's going on. They mapped the human genome. They know so much. And look what they're doing on this virus that we talked about. So anyway, they've mapped the human genome. But the one thing that's really important about that is um, there, everything's based on stem cells. At one time, you were a single stem cell. Sperm and egg comes together, forms a stem cell. It starts to divide. Only stem cells can divide. So it keeps dividing and dividing and dividing. And it starts making the, uh, the fill out cells or replacement cells, the ones that make up your muscle. Well, there are stem cells to make up muscle. One that makes bone to make the hair and every, eyes and everything. You have 220 different types of stem cells in your body. But the way that life is, uh, we have a lot of uh, types of pollution in our environment in the food we eat, in the air we breathe, the water we drink, and the personal care products we put on our bodies are by far the worst uh, with it. So we are under tremendous assault, plus nutrition is way down. It's because uh, most of the inorganic minerals are, there's 74 that are considered essential. There's 75% gone out of our soils because they were eaten by our ancestors and they just can't be replaced. There's no way. They're inorganic, either in, in the soil or not. When they pull out a carrot or a potato, out goes that much of the mineral soil with that. And so if you harvest that uh, ground for 100, 200 years, what do you got left? Not so much. Then they come in, they spray herbicides and weed killers, and it kills the microorganisms in the ground that create organic fulvic acid to make it so that you have more life force in the products that you eat and all of those. So that's uh, giving you a brief overview of it. But the stem cell gets to a certain point. You're grown. You have 220 uh, different types within your body. 67 are in the brain uh, with it because the brain's pretty complex to work with and things like this. So what we have is you have two types of stem cells. You have living stem cells that are going in decline. That's called they are going in senescence, they're down. And so the longer you live because of all these factors, they start wearing out, they go down and down. Then they get to a point, like when you're young, you've got, to, you're all stem cells. And then they start to move away. You start getting dormant ones, senescent ones that have worn out. And the further you go, the more dormant you have. So now if you look at it, you get to a certain age, you're 40, you're about 60% dormant and the 40% less is in senescence and it's going down. So by the time you get to 70, you got two to 5% activity in your stem cells. Well, these stem cells make new cells. That's what they're for. They're just wearing out. And so if, they're, if their productivity goes down on them, then you have less muscle, less tissue, less energy, less brain power, more, a worse vision. You lose all of that. Skin gets damaged. It just goes on and on with all those things. So we designed the H pill. It's called the immortality molecule by one of the great universities, research centers in the country who we won't mention because they've come to us and said, this is our technology and we have a lot of patents on it. But we, we know how to be around that because they're looking to make a drug out of it. And we have the natural compound that does that. So our idea is, is threefold. Uh, you have a cell and it gets all glycated up like plaque on your teeth. And that's what happens in there, that oxidized sugars, the uh, glucose that creates energy and it leaves plaque all over and all the protein structures get sort of gummy up and then it starts to caramelize and get hard. So they're not functioning. That's called glycation. The second thing is the cells in order to 
for a cell to produce another cell has to have that many nutrients come in, then it has to divide and produce the other cell. Well, that rate of division uh, creates a lot of cellular garbage that accumulates in the stem cell itself that doesn't get out. First, it's not so much, it's called lipofusion. It's fatty molecules that stick together, but pretty soon you're full of cellular garbage and even the, the shape of the stem cell starts to crinkle and the nucleus starts to crinkle and it goes brown because of that degradation that's there with lipofusion. So if the ultimate is to produce NAD+, what we have to have is we want a cell that is cleaned up, then refurbished, and then your NAD, you, know, you can't produce a lot of it when everything is, is placked up and, and is full of cellular garbage. So if we can get rid of those and the cells have the ability to do that, you just give, they're doing it all the time, but they just get inefficient. But we know the super nutrients that you can take that will support those biological systems and you can clean up glycation, you can drain the lipofusion, have a clean cell. Then your efforts go through and we come in five ways to make different ways to make NAD plus. And of course, this is, as they say, the immortality molecule. It is the molecule that creates the energy that runs in your body and in the process of making it, hydrogen gets put on it. And then it goes and it passes it on. And some of you know the system through ATP and, uh, and that hydrogen is pulled off it. Well, it can be recycled again. We found the way to do it. And that's why in the pack that we sell for the road to immortality, we have hydrogen uh, sticks there. So you can replenish, replenish that in every cell you want to anyway. And plus it's the world's the most powerful antioxidant on top of that. And it can go into every cell because it's the smallest atom or molecule in the world. So that's covering two. But then now we have, a, we have a stem cell because of the age pill that can produce uh, and that can restore itself to where the biological indicators were getting 40, 50, 60 can go back to where they're in their 20s again. Now, the only thing that's going to impede it from making new cells since it's repaired, since it's revitalized, vitalized, and the biological processes are back to where you're like in your 20s is telomeres. Telomeres are only found in stem cells because stem cells have chromosome and like the tip of your finger, that's where the telomere is on the chromosome. And what happens, you're gonna to have to weave another cell that is exactly like this. The only difference, replacement cells don't have telomeres and they have a limited lifespan. So they might be like skin, two or three months, uh, heart, three years, you know, things like that. So anyway, uh, what we do is we have, what happens is the, the telomeres string out beads and lay the lattice work in that the DNA and everything is constructed. And so then when the cell divides, it leaves off. Well, we've lost telomere units here. And telomere units regulate the rate of uh, division and the shorter they get, the slower they divide. And the other thing is uh, they also cause the ignition of the of the energy release who triggers it, flips the switch. And uh, so it's an igniter uh, as well as that. So it regulates the, the time calendar, how, how often you do. So if you have long telomeres, you're duplicating very fast. The shorter they get, the slower it goes. So there comes TSX in to build that and do it. So that's why it's the second important component. And, and if you're doing that, and you have the age pill, then you can revitalize that cell and, and hypothetically, because we have, haven't been able to test that long, but it should be close to a, an immortal cell. We're not, it's not gonna be immortal, but it's gonna, boy, it's gonna be energetic and young for a long, long time. So, but remember, though, that's the two processes going there. But how about the dormant ones? You have no dormant ones. And let's say this is, this is your bank of, of active stem cells, then it starts to go away and you get more dormant, goes away, you got more dormant. Pretty soon you don't have so many active and you got a lot of dormant cells. 
the bad thing about dormant stem cells is they're senescent. They've stopped working, but they're not dead. And they sit there and they ooze the very worst toxins that causes most cancers, uh, most major organ failures, affects the brain terribly, the heart, uh, liver, everything is damaged by these toxins. There are other sources too, but this is the single greatest source of health toxins that comes from uh, senescent dormant stem cells. And we think that it's because they're trying to send a signal out to the immune system to come in and find them. And then they trigger a process called apoptosis. And that means cellular suicide. The cell will, a gene will be switched uh, if the right materials are there to, to support doing it. It gets switched, the cell dies. And when it dies, it uh, has to be cleaned up because it breaks apart. And so then once that's been cleaned up by the immune system also uh, with it, then up pops a new fresh stem cell, a young stem cell. So consider it's like an polyp. It's like where you cut a rose when it's lost all the, uh, the flowers on it, just cut it at the bulb and it will grow another beautiful blossom. And you can do it all year long with what you're, uh, if you had a rose garden, it's the same thing. So now this big drift in population, now uh, that you've lost, can start building back. As that builds back, this one comes forward and your racial charts changing with that. And that's what synolytics is. And so we have a, uh, a blend in our stemolytic. We tried to make it as harmonious with the purpose that it works as synolytic agents. And it's got eight or nine uh, synolytic agents. One of them isn't really a true synolytic, but it supports all of the synolytics with methylization that's necessary to make it work. So it doesn't create apoptosis. That's truly a, uh, a synolytic function, but we have a cocktail of synolytic agents powered uh, by the, um, uh, the methylization that's there. And why do we have so many? Well, it's because, and these have been tested, not, well, a lot of them have been tested at another major university. And they said, this one here is the very best, but the very best means it's the very best, but it doesn't mean it does everything because there are 220 different groups of stem cells. So what I've done is I've looked at it and understand it. I'm telling you, sometimes I'm like a one man band having to think about this because most researchers have tunnel vision. Fortunately, God's bless me where I have broad spectrum vision and I can see the components. They just come together in my mind with it. So I understood it. So I have found after extensive researching too, it's, it just doesn't happen. It says work, but I found the varieties of senolytic agents, eight different varieties that should cover virtually all of the stem cells in your body. And some senolytic agents will be effective on this type of stem cell and this and some of the others. And then some of them will be effective on that too, but then go other pathways. So what we're trying to do is get it all for you with it. So as those, as those stems, uh, as those uh, dormant stem cells go into apoptosis or cellular death, you can do that with our stemolytics. You take that and it literally like bombs them uh, with a charge and they break down, they create apoptosis uh, because that's senolytic agents that are in it. It's a natural process. It's doing it anyway. We just super fortify it with natural ingredients and aging isn't a disease. So we can make these kind of claims with it because we can end aging. And, and with all three of these products, we can end aging. But anyway, uh, it goes through and as you repopulate it, pretty soon that bed of active stem cells are fresh young stem cells and you're approaching where you're getting back into your 20s and 30s again and what is that going to mean that's going to mean more cells in your body bo body mass coming back strength coming back thinking energy all of those things you'll be able to do it you can live you have the potential now to live a very long time at a much younger age and that's never been offered before. There's things that 
can extend the lifespan, but you're still on the decline. The golden years aren't so golden when you get there. But what we can do, we can make the golden years go young and shiny again. That's At least that's the purpose of what we're doing. With it, the body can do it. It just needs the proper nutrients and to get rid of the toxins and the waste. So that's what synolytics is. And so now with synolytics, it's, it's so new, just like the age pill and NAD is so new and telomer so new and they have Nobel winning prize, uh, prize winners that are validating the NID found in the age pill. The, the telomer length uh, and what telomers are as in our TSX and in synolytics too. And so they are the most prestigious scientific minds in the world doing it, but they're researchers. And so they're, they're not, they don't have a practical application for it. And if they find something in nature, which most of the time over half the medicines are found in nature first, then they work on making a synthetic molecule because a natural ingredient is classified, legally classified as God given, and it can't be patented. So you have to make an artificial a molecule, which is very different in structure, but it may elicit the same effect as a natural one. Only as you know, from watching the advertisements with pharmaceutical companies, they have tremendous side effects with those synthetic molecules where the natural ones are just compatible with the body and the, and the genome that's there. It's called epigenetics is what we're talking about. So it's epigenetic contacts to make these things happen all the way through. So now your expanse of young stem cells, instead of being gone down and gone, they can start coming back to where you're at. And so then the final factor we have in there, so you have age pill, TSX, stemolytics. What do you want? All of them. Stemolytics itself is now they're doing research on it. And I published some of this. You can see, if you're not following me, you should be following me on what I'm doing because I publish some of these studies because I'm allowed to uh, if they're in the third party domain. They're rebuilding hearts now with it. They're saying people can have young hearts again with stemolytics. But once you get the cells there, you want to keep them that way, don't you? Stem cells, will, there's the age pill in TSX. They're saying we can rebuild the lung. We could rebuild uh, the liver. Those things are all being done. Now they're looking at, and I pub just published some here today uh, or yesterday about where they're being researched on ending type one diabetes and Alzheimer's and other things like that. That's the potential that lies out there, but it can be done naturally, uh, I think. Or And of course, that's where most of the, they have no synthetics. So all the testing is being done on natural ingredients. We know what they are because they have to publish and I read their, their studies and know what they're doing. So someday, 10 years, 15 years from now, they'll have a very expensive medication. Until that time, you can have 10 years, 15 years of growing younger, getting stronger, going to live longer, making more money, having more happiness, the kind of things that you want. So the last thing we throw into it, since all life on earth is dependent on the sun and that hydrogen comes to hits the plants and creates fulvic acid for one thing and some other hydrogen complexes, but we kind of wear out with that too. So now, if you take the H2 stick, when you're having a drink of water, have a drink of diatomic hydrogen water. It's extremely healthy for you. It doesn't cost much. In fact, is to treat a, a glass of water, uh, the bottle of water costs more than what it costs to treat it, probably double what it costs to treat it. So you've got, a, you've got something you can refresh the hydrogen through your whole body with it. And if you buy the pack, we've discounted it so much that it's not like buying the hydrogen at half price if you buy all four of them together and why not? So we're trying to make it as good for you as you can. And, and synolytics is, the, is now, in my opinion, the greatest single discovery in the history of human health because the age pill could not restore the dormant ones, but synolytics can with it. And when they're up there, then the age pill can maintain them Anything that does get dormant, synolytics will bring back. So use that and have telomeres keep duplicating at the right rate, some hydrogen to fire it up and make give you all of the energy you need uh, to live a very long time. You see, disease only happens when you get around 40, 50, 60. That's where the disease 
that is going to kill you kicks in. And why does it kick in at that age? Why doesn't it kick in at 20? The reason why is your body is strong and regenerative and you've lost a lot. You're 60% dormant by the time you're 40 uh, approximately. And with that, what do you expect? Now that the vulnerability for the disease, if the, your environment for the, your genetic uh, inheritance you got from your folks, now all come to play and now you got a bad heart. Now you got type one or type two diabetes. Now you're getting Alzheimer's. It all happens because of the degradation uh, of the cells. But it now, in my opinion, does not have to. And no one has done it the way that we have. So anyway, I'm sorry that took you way over again on the time, but that explains senolytics. But it needs to be explained with the context of age built TSX, stemolytics, and then throw in the, the hydrogen power to, to give it the boost that every cell in the body needs. And if you do that, hey, we're going to be in this business a long time. We'll have our 100th year reunion and you come to Mauer Mountain and celebrate it with us. So anyway, uh, I'll turn it back to you, Kurt. Hey, Tom, thanks for being with us tonight. You know, everybody, I appreciate you taking, taking an hour or so out of your time. I know you're a busy man. It's Friday night. You probably got a hot date somewhere over there in Salt Lake and, and that. But, uh, you know, all this information is just so compelling that, that, that I know people want to know. They just want to know. They're just, they're just a sponge for all the knowledge that you have. So uh, we all thank you for taking the time tonight. You're welcome, and thanks for everybody for being on. I want to wish you the best, and I want you to tell you, Doc is in your corner, and he is becoming a master trainer in this. I'm very pleased and proud of him. I've seen him progress in what he's doing, so you have just an excellent leader there doing it, and I'm on your side, too. I come to work every day, not to make money. I've made enough. I come to work every day to help you to become happier, healthier, and wealthier. There you go. Well, you're my outline, so you got you got to be there for me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everyone. Well, Tom, thank you. Everybody, thank you for being here. I'll get this process. I'll get it on.